in, in the context of future of research, I'd be curious, when you think about your fund or funds like yours, how do you see people reacting to the availability of technology? Are they scared? Are they worried about their job security? Are senior people acting differently than junior people? Any thoughts there? I mean, everybody's excited about it. I think the main thing is, you know, the, the number one resource that any, that any place really has is talented humans. And so anything you can do to get a force multiplier on their work so that they can do more in less time or evaluate more things or whatever, that's power. That's, that's the hardest thing. And so the thing that makes all of these tools exciting is, you know, as Karsh was describing about agentic tools, having the ability to fire off 15 threads, explore something, come back with an answer in, you know, a minute, then be able to follow up and ask those questions. Those are the kind of workflows that would have historically taken days, weeks, months. Um, and so the fact that you can chase those down quickly means you can develop theses that were literally impossible before because you couldn't evaluate things quickly enough. You can explore things far more fully than you ever could, generate bigger ideas so then you can use you know, an Alpha Centes platform to dig more deeply into the financial statements and the things they've said and tie it all together and investigate other threads all together. It just, it really opens up so much potential. And so the, the, the challenge going forward is gonna be, you know, as these things evolve, there are going to be a set of tools that, or, or a set of tasks, I should say, that people just don't have to do anymore, that don't make sense. So like, I think, it, and it's not really the tools that are up here on stage, but, or not yet anyway. Um, but at some point, people are not really gonna be reading bond indentures anymore. Like at some point, that's clearly gonna be something that's gonna be handled purely by technology and that's going to lead to some consequences. If nobody reads any bond indentures, then how do you become the senior person who knows everything by reading 10 trillion bond indentures and you know how it all works? Well, we're gonna have to train people differently because they're not gonna grow up reading 10 million bond indentures, the AI is gonna read it. And so that's gonna lead to some interesting questions about where do we deploy resources, how does that work, what are the jobs people don't need to be doing? I think you know, if you look at the legal space, the amount of work, which is obviously very similar to a bond indenture because it's just a glorified legal document, but seeing the way that attorneys have taken to that space, like at some point there will not be paralegals anymore or what they're gonna be doing is gonna be very different than what they've historically done because reading those documents is going to be purely an AI's job. And that's gonna be a question as to what that means and how we translate that and that's a whole set of interesting questions that as a society we're gonna have to solve, not just as investment people, but as everything because these are jobs that won't exist. Um, it raises a lot of interesting questions.